I'm standing here at my shop that's looking back toward the north at the uh, county road. I put this road in here and graveled it, all that good stuff. And after it got set up real good, then I came back and gray rocked over it with some number 57. And I hadn't done anything else to dry. I've never graded or anything. I've got two holes in it now. I got one down there at the black top at the county road. Small hole, aggravating, where people turn in all the time. And uh, you have to swerve to miss it. And there's one right there in my concrete in my driveway where my where you turn to go on to the concrete apron going to the house there there's one there and uh so we don't need the motor grader no more and i'm fixing to uh jump on it and run it and grade it out this is our uh this is bad overkill this something has got a 14 foot blade on it which is way too wide for what i'm fixing to do but I can make it work, man. See, it's a 772. When you see the 772 on the end of these things, that means that it's six-wheel drive. You see these lines running right here? They pull these front tires here. So this grader is six-wheel drive. It is a hoss. Y'all seen in some of my videos, we use it to pull trucks. Need to have a blade made and weld on the front of this thing here because dad will use it to push trucks with sometimes if they're not loaded I need a blade on there where he can really have more area to get on the back of the trailer with i don't remember what year model this thing is we bought it in 2009 we got it over in georgia we bought it over yonder it come from that's not who it come from. It, we bought it from a mine over there, but it was sold through Metrax there. And uh, we rebuilt the transmission in it uh, earlier this spring. This is the pool cable that we use. It got an eye on each end. We have a place in Columbus that will make those right there. Have, next time I go in there to get some made, I'm on, they let me uh, go back there in the back and I'll film them making one because they don't care. But I'm fixing to jump up in here with my GoPro. I'm going to mess around my GoPro, put it on, and uh, we're going to do a little road grading, man. Never been inside a motor grader. There's a lot of levers in it, man. The new ones are not like this, though. The new ones got all the switches and buttons on them. It's all electric. You got four on this side, five on this side, steering wheel, all this tilts up and down or you can lay it back all the way up in your lap tilt it up however you want to run it and then over here on the side you got your front wheel assist and all that mess and everything this machine has an 8.1 liter engine in it just like a skitter 8 forward 8 reverse the way it works very similar I'm gonna stick my GoPro in here somehow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably put it on the blade down there too. I'll get it fixed up.
did pretty good on it. I'm gonna let it sit and drive on it a little bit. I gotta do a little bit more work up here at the, the end of the concrete there, but <clears throat> this is a problem. This old grass here, it doesn't root it in. So in the center of it, I hadn't kept it sprayed or anything like that the last couple of years. I had been, but I hadn't the last couple of years. So I'm gonna drive on it with that grass, let it let this grass dry on out, you know, where it won't be where it won't be so full like that. Drive on it for a few days and then I'm gonna get back on the grader on it. And uh work up work over it again because it's not I mean, it's not like i want it exactly like i want it i'm no road grader man either my dad does really good on the grader because he has a, he's running a lot more than i have but uh did pretty good all the way down through there main thing i want to get that hump out of the middle and then cut these freaking sides out, man. Right here, and then I'll come back. I'll catch these sides again. Let it, like I said, let this grass dry out. And we'll be doing, doing pretty good. So, the end of this week, I hadn't seen anything, but the end of this week is uh, Demo 2016, which that's a huge logging show. In Canada it only happens every four years and it happens the end of this week and uh, my dad left Sunday driving all the way out there what they do is they alternate it from coast they go on the East Coast and then they have it on the West Coast this year it's on the West Coast it's uh, at uh, Maple Ridge uh, British Columbia which is uh, not far outside of Vancouver British Columbia and I actually filmed a video uh, from the show site last year in August and I'll include a link down below to that video that uh, that shows that show site well that show is huge because it's only every four years and all and it's right there in the Mecca of uh, of massive uh, timber i mean just unreal and uh when you ride through it it looks like it's staying and you'll see it on the video it looks like that stands probably standing 10 loads to an acre i mean it's just the wood is so thick in there and so big it's crazy but all the big boys are there man i mean they, everybody will be there running equipment but my dad is driving all the way up there the show is actually in maple ridge british columbia is where the show is and uh the details about it is in the video down there down below but just a cool thing it's uh 2800 miles one way from here out there to where daddy's going to and uh he's in spokane washington right now as this video is being filmed so he's not far from the uh from the show site there and of course right there is also where DHSP is uh, that's Deer Hitachi Specialty Products, which basically means that's where the swing machines that Kevin and I run, the uh, John Deere track loader and the uh, processor, that's where they're built. They're built right there in Langley, which is between Vancouver and Maple Ridge. And uh, but Dad's gonna be gone. Uh, I think he's going to be gone for about three weeks or something like that. And he's probably going to end up doing, I, well, i got to figure probably eight to 10,000 miles time he drives all the way back. But because he's going to come back down through California. My dad has a sister that lives in California. He's going to drive down and uh, visit with her before he comes back. But uh, y'all be thinking about my dad, man. That's a long way. My dad's 70 now. And, uh, we all love him to death and uh we're gonna miss him but that's a lot of my just think about my dad while while he's gone and maybe we'll have no trouble while he's gone or anything because there's a lot of bad people in this world man a lot of bad people in this world now so uh but uh so i hope y'all enjoy riding along with me on the uh 
motor grader this afternoon. So you got a combine, motor grader. We're gonna have to figure out, I mean, would you just, just stick a GoPro on any daggone thing, man, you know? I, mean, I, just, I like putting stuff out for y'all to watch. I enjoy that, I like it a lot. But uh, y'all be good. As I always say at the end of most of my videos, not all of them, what do I say? Later, Tater. See y'all later.